Foot problems are common in people with diabetes because it boils down to elevated blood sugar. Blood sugar elevations prevent nerves from transmitting signals in the manner in which they should. Neuropathy or diabetic neuropathy is nerve damage from poor blood flow to the nerves. If the nerves don't function well, people with diabetes can't feel pain. They can't feel when their feet are being damaged. And if they can't feel when their feet are being damaged, they can get a cut that might get infected or an ulcer that might get infected, um, and they only know about it when it's too late. One of the sensations uh, of neuropathy is a pins and needles sensation. You could also feel a burning sensation in your feet um, and, or just complete numbness. Some patients are severely numb and some patients start to lose just a little bit of sensation in their feet. You could live a very long time with neuropathy, but the problem is, is that if you're walking and you have a lack of sensation, you're not feeling what's going on on the bottom of your foot and you can wind up with a serious condition uh, which can lead to an amputation. In order to prevent foot problems in patients with diabetes, glucose control or blood sugar control is the most important thing, you know, and then regular attention to your feet. Address little cuts and scrapes and cracked skin areas early and don't let them just kind of fester and collect bacteria because that could turn into an infection. If you don't have any complications, a diabetic patient should see a podiatrist once a year. If you have any of these complications. If you have peripheral neuropathy or if you have a peripheral vascular disease, you should be seeing a podiatrist on a more regular basis. And it's really just as a preventive measure because we want to avoid the complications of diabetes, such as ulceration and these non-healing wounds and amputations.